Good morning. Welcome. Listen, I am sending you a smile. I just want to start off like that. Whether you are watching me for the first time, maybe you're going to watch the replay, or if you are watching me live, I want to just say good morning and I'm sending you a smile today. As you know, it's Mindset Monday. My name is Latrice Bartley, founder of Purposefully Living. And listen, I am here to just encourage you in God's word. I want to ignite you this morning. I want to encourage you. I want to stir you up in God's word. Y'all already know Monday, brand new day, brand new week. Listen, we got some days ahead of us and I don't know about you, but I want God to direct, to order the steps of my life, even for this week. So y'all, I got a word of encouragement and I want to jump right on in. Um, I was reading something. I have been stirring all weekend to share this with you. It is a familiar passage, one we have heard many times, but as I was listening to something and began to read, just these simple words stuck out. So I want you, you already know, get your Bible. If you're driving, that's okay. Trust me, I'm going to read it to you, but I want us to go to Matthew 14, 15 through 18, and I'm going to read the whole passage, okay? But I'm going to just share with you where we're going. And here's what it says. That evening, the disciples came to him and said, this is a remote place and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. Now, before I keep reading, let me stop. We have where Jesus has just performed miracles. He got word that John the Baptist um, was beheaded. He tried to get away. The crowd followed him by foot. He had compassion and began to heal. So we got this massive crowd following Jesus. So that's kind of leading up to where we're at. And so the disciples are saying, listen, it's getting late. Send the crowds away. But Jesus said, that isn't necessary. You feed them. But we have only five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Bring them here, he said. Then he told the people to sit down on the grass. Jesus took the five loaves and two fish, looked up toward heaven and blessed them. Then breaking the loaves into pieces, he gave the bread to the disciples who distributed to the people. Listen, the Amplified says, um, I want to read just a couple of verses. It says, but Jesus said to them, they do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. They replied, we have nothing here except five loaves and two fish. He said, bring them here to me. Y'all, I want to just zero in. I, I heard this. We've all heard the story, right, of the fish and the loaves. But this is what I heard when I was reading them. Bring them here. In the Amplified version, it says, bring them here to me. And I want you to hear the disciples reply initially. They said, but we have only. In the Amplified version, it says, we have nothing here except. I want to ask you this morning, what is your only? What is your except? Y'all, as I began to listen to this, I want to encourage you this morning. Remember, Mindset Monday is my opportunity to charge you because as I said, the Lord was showing me last year when he was giving me to change the podcast that our mindset is going to have to be renewed for where he's taking us. We are going to have to every day to ask God to change how we think. And the Bible reminds us that we don't think on his level. Like our thoughts are not his thoughts and our ways are not his ways. So that lets us know already we have homework. That lets us know already that we have to get in God's word so that the word of God can transform how we see situations, how we see ourselves, how we see obstacles, how we see life. And that's going to take a daily initiative of getting in God's word. Well, y'all, when I thought about this, I thought this was so perfect because as we are beginning a year, a lot of times as we write New Year um, resolutions, I don't. I want to just keep living. But I'm just saying, as we write things out, sometimes we're like, God, we need you to do this. God, we need you to do that. I only have this. Lord, bless this. 
But this, this passage stuck out because number one, they said, we only have this. What are we going to do with all these people? And he said, bring them to me. He said, bring it here. I want to encourage you today on Mindset Monday. What's your only? Maybe you only have one client. Maybe you only have a broken heart. Maybe all you have is an idea, a, a vision that God has given you, but $5. What is your only? What is your except? Whatever that is, I want to encourage you this week to bring it to Jesus. Maybe right now you only have three members on your staff, but the company is telling you this has to get done. I want to encourage you, bring it to Jesus. See, as we go through the story, they said, we, we can't do nothing with this. And he said, bring it to me. And when Jesus touched it, when Jesus blessed it, then they were able to feed the masses. It's not what you have, but it's what you do with what you have. Maybe you are, you're sitting right now and you're broken. Your marriage is broken. You like, all I have is a broken heart. I want to tell you, bring it to Jesus. Jesus knows how to mend you back together. He is the master potter. He knows how to put you back together. And then when he puts you back together, he won't just put you back together, but he's going to give you a testimony. And that pain is going to have purpose. Maybe you looking at these few dollars, but bring it to Jesus because he might say that's a seed for something that's getting ready to happen that I'm going to do supernatural. Y'all, it's not what we have. But what do you do with what you have? And today, I want to encourage you to bring it to Jesus. Bring your heart to Jesus. Bring your passion to Jesus. Bring your brokenness to Jesus. Bring your family to Jesus. And watch what he will do. It's not, like I said, what you have, but it's what are you doing with it? There's a song that many of us may have heard. And it says, little is much when you place it in the master's hand. So again, I want to ask you, what is your accept? Because in the verse, it says, the, the disciples replied, we have nothing except five loaves and two breads. They had something. It's how they viewed what they had. And that's where our mindset has to be renewed. Sometimes we're constantly asking, but God is like, you haven't done anything with what you have to you is little and we want more. And God is saying, no, I want you to give me the little so that I can do supernaturally more. I want you to appreciate that. I want you to appreciate this place. And so I want to encourage you today again. Maybe all you have is just a little. Maybe all you have is a writing skill. Don't look for the publisher or the, the big person is going to God said, I but did you give me that little? What does that look like? God, I know that you're calling me to write. I know that you've given me a skill. And I'm I'm asking you as I sit at the desk to crown my efforts with success. Will you show up at the desk with him every hour for just a day to say, God, write through me? He said, give it to me and see what I'll do through you. I'll begin to supernaturally write through that pen. I'll begin to put, but sometimes we're like, no, I need the, the mentor. I need the publisher. And God said, no, you ain't even sat down uh, uh, just now one day. What I'm bringing the publisher company to you for. I need you to consistently give me that gift and see what I'll do through it. Y'all, I want to encourage you this week. Bring all that you have to Jesus. Don't look at the only but bring it all to him. Here's the thing that I thought about too. I thought about a familiar passage, Moses. And, and just bear with me. You might say, how do these parallel? Just stick with me. So Moses, well, you might not have heard, heard the story of Moses, but we have where God calls Moses. He has this meeting with him, if I could say, in the wilderness. And he lets Moses know that I've heard the cry of my people. They're being oppressed. They're being um, mistreated. And so in here, I'm going to read it to you. It says, look, the cry of the people of Israel has reached me and I have seen how harshly the Egyptians abused them. Now go for I am sending you to Pharaoh. You must lead my people, my people Israel out of Egypt. But Moses protested to God, who am I to appear before Pharaoh? 
Who am I to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt? God answered, I will be with you. And this is your sign that I am the one who has sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God at this very mountain. Now, Here's where it goes. Both Moses protested, if I go to the people of Israel and tell them the God of your ancestors has sent me to you, they will ask, what is his name? Then what should I tell them? And he answered them. He said, tell the people of Israel, Yahweh, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has sent me. In another translation, we all know it is, tell them I am that I am. Now you might say, what does that have to do with the five loaves? Because here is again, a, a task that seemed too big. Just like your little, you like, what am I going to do with this? God gave me an idea to start a business. And all I have is this is in the account. And I have th th like these two don't add up. This is just a little, I need more. No, 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 no. What you need is a supernatural touch. What I'm telling you is just like with Moses, there was a task before him that he like, who am I to do this? Here's the first point that I want to leave you with today, y'all. This is the thing. Take the little that you have and I want you to place it into the hand of God. I want you to understand just like Moses situation, just like the five loaves of bread, it's not what we have or what we can do, but it's what God wants to do through us and through the situation. He will take your little and supernaturally, just like back in the day, feed masses. He will take your little when you place it in his hand and begin to just Listen, you will begin to start companies. You will look back and say, oh my God, this was just an idea. But when you place it in his hands supernaturally, God can do more than what you could ever think. He will take, yes, he, he called you and you saying, you want me to go like Moses, but it's not about what you have. It's what he's going to do through you. Y'all, what I want to encourage you today is I want you to take the little and place in his hands. Take the little faith you have. Take the marriage that you feel like, Lord, we on, we we hanging on. He said, bring me that little bit. He said, I can do something supernatural if you will bring it to me. And so that's what I want to leave with you today, y'all. It's not what you do not have. It's what are you doing with it? I want to encourage you that little is much when placed in the master's hand. Listen, I, I wanted, I was thinking about um, several things when I thought about this passage. I thought about when I started my business. I thought about so many things, y'all, um, that I just gave God access. You're going to hear me say that all year long. Give him access. Bring all that you have to him this year and see what he will do supernaturally. I thought about my business. You know, God is never going to increase you. Um, how do I want to say this? You have to take a step. We, we already know that this journey with God is all about faith, y'all. And sometimes we're like, God, I need this. I need you to do this. I need to see the plan. If you give me this, well, we all could walk it out. If we had all the money, if we could see all the resources, if we could see the people, then it would be easy to say, oh, I'm about to touch these lies and this is about to open up. Let me go do it. But that's not how it works. This path is a faith walk. And as you take a step, then God begins to reveal. So today, I just wanted to encourage you, y'all. I, I don't want to be here long. Bring it to Jesus. What do you have? Bring it to him and let him supernaturally blow your mind. It's not about you. It's not about what you have, but it's about what he wants to do through you. So on Mindset Monday, that's what I want to leave you this week. I don't care what's before you. Bring it to Jesus. Bring your staff to Jesus. Bring the little, your finances to Jesus. Bring your marriage to Jesus. Bring your children to Jesus. Whatever your situation is, Bring it to Jesus and watch how he will transform your little supernaturally. Have a great week. See you next Monday. Bye.